Before watching this video, make sure you have access to the back end of your WordPress site. Make sure you've already created a Mixpanel account and have your project set up in Mixpanel. And once those things are out of the way, you can head over to the Mixpanel documentation. The first thing we need to do is copy the code in step one. Open your favorite text editor and create a new document and paste the code in that we just copied. We can delete the first line of code because we don't need that. Head back over to the Mixpanel documentation and copy this line of code. Head back over to your text document and paste that line of code you just copied just before the closing script tag. Now we need to go into Mixpanel, go to your project settings, locate your project token, copy the token, head back into your text document. And this is really crucial. In the documentation, the team at Mixpanel fails to mention that your project token must be wrapped in quotes. So make sure you wrap quotes around the token. Now that you've added your Mixpanel project token inside of quotes to your script tag, we can copy the script tag, go to your WordPress site that's using Divi, and in the left column, go down to Divi, theme options, then choose integration and paste your script tag into the head section in theme options, save your changes, then head back to your Mixpanel project, click on events, and you'll begin to see events coming into your Mixpanel project. The default implementation of Mixpanel is going to capture page view events. If you need to capture additional events, you can go through the process of filling out a tracking plan. The link to the tracking plan is available in the description of this video. If you're looking to replace Google Analytics with Mixpanel, you can implement Mixpanel Easy Track, which I cover in this video right here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and share the video with your peers who might be trying to implement Mixpanel for Divi.